Okay, uh, welcome to Shabit Uganda eLearning. Uh, my name is Nelson and uh, this is my telephone number. Uh, and also this is my email that is eLearning at shabit.net. And uh, in today's lesson, uh, as we promised, that we shall be looking more on uh, following our breakdown. Uh, now here we want to look more on uh, subtraction of uh, this fraction. How do we subtract them? Uh, those that are mixed with uh, addition, uh, those mixed with multiplication. So we want to be seeing uh, how do we also deal with uh, 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 subtraction of these uh, fractions. So in our recent lessons, we are able to look at uh, all this as they are arranged. Please, if you are not to be, if you are not part of it, you still have um, <coughs> a chance to check out on our playlist and also a chance to subscribe for you to get some more upcoming. Okay, so we shall go direct to our uh, slide where I want to handle. Uh, where I want to handle uh, the subtraction. Okay, so this is uh, our part, and as we looked at, uh, as we were looking at uh, multiplication of these fractions, uh, it is not also far from uh, from what from subtraction. <coughs> so we still use the same methods uh, for us to do. Uh, a number of subtraction. Okay, so let's uh, get started with um, with these examples. Let's get started with these what with these examples. Okay, let's get started with uh, examples. Okay, so we have been given an example here. <coughs> They want us to subtract these what uh, these fractions. Okay, so when they give you an when they give you a, uh, a question about subtraction, uh, like you have been given here, what is four out of five minus one out of uh, five. This is our what this is our fraction which is given. Still, we use the same method of what of uh, getting the LCM. <coughs> LCM is got by, uh, we can either multiply uh, the denominator uh, by uh, the denominators, we multiply them to get our lowest common multiple, or we look out for the factor which can divide all these denominators. So here we are just look, you're going to use our five, since they have the same what, the same denominators. So after putting our five as our LCM, then we can now say, uh, 5 divided by 5, which is 1. Uh, then a 1 times 4, which is a 4. So this is also going to be 1. Because 5 divided by 1, which is 1, 1 times 1, which is 1. So our answer here, we shall be able to get uh, our 3 out of 5. Okay? So this is what they are able to get. Uh, the same as this. Uh, here it was given in form of a, a word problem uh, where they, they talk about uh, someone, they give you a lot of words but they want you to extract and find out whether uh, they use multiplication or addition or subtraction, okay? So when you look at this, how do you identify that this number is, is from uh, subtraction? Uh, let's read this number together. We have a baby was given uh, five out of six of a glass of water. So this was water. Uh, they are saying it was given to a baby. Then they are saying if if it uh, if that baby uh, drank a uh, seven out of twelve, what fraction was it? Seven out of twelve. What fraction was it? Okay, uh, our baby was given what? Was given five out of uh, five out of six. That this means uh, the total, the total of it. We can write here our solution. <coughs> we can say total what? 
can say total total water water given okay is uh, five out of six mm -hmm. then they are telling us um, uh, if we drag this seven out of twelve what fraction remained okay so here we have uh, um, seven out of what out of twelve then uh, we want to they are telling us the total of it was this but he took this so this simply means we shall get our five out of six minus our seven out of twelve okay so here we get our LOCM a factor which can divide twelve and six you can use a twelve so when you use a twelve we say twelve divided by six which is twelve divided by six this becomes two two times was five that is ten and then we say 12 divided by 12, 1, 1 times 7, we get 7. So this simply means that now we shall have our 10 minus 7 out of 12. We shall get our answer as 3 out of, out of 12. So this is going to be our, our answer. So when you look down here, let's see what they were able to get. What they were able to get, 3 out of what? 3 out of 12 okay which is the same as what we have been able to get here so you can further simplify this more we can further simplify this more um, that is by uh, looking out for a factor which can divide the 3 and the 12 which is 1 so when you get a factor which can divide the 3 and the 12 <coughs> uh, we use a 3 itself such that when divide the 3 by 3, hmm, we shall get 1. Then the three, uh, 12 by 3, we get 4. So that's why uh, our answer becomes uh, 1 out of 4. So even if you leave it at this stage, uh, it is not charged. Uh, they still give you your uh, mark. Then uh, our question 3, they are saying we had this guy called Isaac. And uh, uh, Isaac had uh, three fourths of the assurance. <coughs> of the assurance, uh, this is what? Okay, this is the sugar cane. So uh, they are saying if he gave uh, three out of five of it to Peter, he had just a friend and he gave it to him, which is very good to share. Uh, then they are telling us uh, what fraction did he remain with, okay? So this number, when you can see it, it also just requires you to uh, subtract. If he had 3 out of 4, mm, uh, then he gave out uh, what? Uh, 3 out of 5. We shall just do what? We shall just uh, uh, get our common multiple, which can divide uh, 5 and 4. Let's use a 20, okay? So when you divide 20 by 4, we get 5. 5 times 3, we get 15. When you divide the 20 by 5, we get 4. 4 times uh, 3, we get 4 times 3, 12. So this simply means we shall now be able to come up with uh, our uh, answer here. What is 12? Minus, we shall have our 3 out of 20. Okay, so uh, we can look out for a factor which can divide the 3 and the 20. Is it there? The answer is no. So we can leave it in this step. So that's why here they have now been able to get our answers. What? Our answers are 3 out of 20. So that's how we shall be dealing with the subtraction of uh, these uh, fractions. So in our next lesson, I uh, want to be looking now at uh, what we call uh, the questions that are always asked. Uh, remember, because this has just been examples of uh, these fractions. Okay. 
So in our next session, we shall be able to uh, see how do we uh, how do we temper with questions or how do they set them. So God bless you. Uh, see you in the next lesson. Stay blessed.